welcome back so we have built this page so far we have seen how we can add colors to our page we have seen how we can also add CSS to our page the most important thing that we have studied is how you are able to import CSS to the page that you are working on so at this point we are we can now go ahead and dive deep and start learning CSS so therefore let me start today by teaching you how to do fonts in CSS let's say for instance you don't like this font and by the way font is the same as the font that you know in uh, maybe a word processor you see where you go up there and you, then you select the font type you want to use and then you start changing the way these characters are appearing maybe you you, you make them look uh, dif different that is exactly what uh, we are going to be learning today now I'm going to be teaching you a couple of things that you can use to manipulate the font and the way the font looks but then I will expect that you're going to dive deep and even do some more research because like I told you when you are starting CSS is more artistic uh, uh, than HTML and therefore it, it basically depends on how creative you are to make your page look as beautiful as possible therefore the first thing I am going to teach you is what is called the font size let's say for instance you want this font to be a little bit bigger remember initially we used to manipulate uh, our fonts here the size here the size here the size here using headings like heading one heading two let me create some more space here heading one heading three and so, so forth and then the p had this font here let's say i want this uh, to be a different uh, size the, for the text here and i don't want to use a heading because you can't keep using headings all the time all right for that i'm going to head to my css and i am going to target this p you know this is a paragraph tag we have here so i can just go ahead and target a p and then i'm going to do font size and i'm going to give this something like 20 pixels all right save it and then when i come back here and refresh you can see this one has changed the size of this has increased and now it is 20 pixels if i change this to something like 12 pixels you see that's going again to reduce that to 12 pixels nice let's keep it to around 16 pixels for now refresh that is 16 nice looks looks good so this is font size you can you can experiment with the pixels and see how you can you are able to manipulate this now there's another thing other than the px for pixels we have em that you can use also to manipulate the font size now em is slightly bigger than pixel so if you try to change uh, only the, the 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 type here to em and leave 16 this is going to be extremely huge you see this is what we have so you can keep this to something like one em and refresh and this is how our page looks now and by the way for the em you can even do 0.5 1.5 em refresh this and you can see it, it takes in that nice that looks good now one thing that i will tell you before i leave the font size is that em is the recommended way to use uh, is the recommended way to do font sizes because em makes sure that your font reduces as the page reduces all right so em is better than is better to use than the pixels now the other thing that i am going to teach you today is what is called the font family family is like where what kind of family do you want me to use examples the examples that we have here this one has to be in quotes is something like times new roman times new roman refresh this one doesn't seem to have a big change let me change that maybe it was already times new roman let me change this to something like korea there's a font says called korea so c o u i hope i'm going to r i e r i hope i'm going to spell that right refresh this and yeah look at that this one has changed so initially it was times new roman now it has changed to korea or the, however you pronounce this so the font family changes how your font looks how does your font stand out that is what font family is used to do now you can explore more about font families on a website like uh let me see what is the name of the website just let me check this for you it css it's, it's by the three schools so it's called css web save font 
combinations all right this one you can look at css uh, font combinations on w3 schools and you see that they have a couple of fonts that you can use here now i wanted to come to this website specifically because i wanted to tell you you can see here they have something like a uh, font family times new roman comma times comma serif all right now about serif and sans serif you can you 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 are going to serifs basically mean that they are going to have i think that means they are going to have uh to have they, they are these like extending extending uh extending stuff on the at the edges of the letters that is what serif does the opposite of serif is sans serif so you can do more research around that i wanted us to look at something like this look at um a font like like this this one is font family Arial helvetica sans serif oh yeah this is the sans serif i was telling you about so Arial by itself is a font so let's copy and put it here refresh this this one changes to Arial. all right if you remove this you notice that this one is going to go back to to uh this times new roman if you get it back this one now is Arial. So why are they doing area comma and vertical and, and all and all this? Let me put this here and see what that what does that do? Refresh. There doesn't seem to be much of a change. Now what this does is that it uses area and then you provide this as an alternative. So for some reason, if area is not available, your browser is going to use Helvetica and then it is going to be in sans serif. Alright? So if we remove Helvetica for instance, save, refresh, you can see there is no difference because area is available and how how about if maybe area was not present here what would have happened well it doesn't seem to have much of a change i, I think because of this and serif yeah so this is what this does that is the font family explore more on the page that i just showed you that is uh that is the page on the dream school css web safe font combinations nice the other thing that i want us to explore today is what is called the font style right style and the font style mostly uh what we're going to be using here maybe is something like uh italic now pay attention to the to the code we had here refresh font style italic i don't know font italic is spelled like that yeah so font style basically what font style does is that it will help you to make it maybe make the convert this font to italic but you can also do that maybe from uh, html by just adding an i to the font i don't know why italic is not kicking here style i'm just trying to see whether i've, I've maybe misspelled it italic is spelled like that yeah this should actually work i don't know why it's not working on my browser except but practice that on your browser and it should it should work the other thing that I'm going to show you is what is referred to as the font variant. Font variant and font variant. You can decide that you want this, these things to be in caps, uh, but you don't want it to be to look like uh, like maybe something like uh, huge fonts, huge capital letters here. So you can do something like font variant and do small caps. All right, small caps. Come back and refresh your page. I think something is broken on this page let me just confirm so here we have the p yeah that's okay we have the p here font let me say font let me try with font size and i say this one i want it to be 20 pixels refresh yeah that that's okay so the font variant should also work and the font variant should be something like italic save refresh no not not italic sorry but small caps small hyphen caps refresh doesn't work let me just check quickly what it is it, what's happening here css uh font variant this is how you can google by the way if maybe you are having a problem with this so yeah this is not supposed to be inside inside caps remove that 
and now this is supposed to work nice you see that that one is as kicked as as kicked so the mistake i was doing this one is not supposed to be inside of this it's supposed to be outside like that okay and therefore maybe that is also the mistake i did with font font style let's just uh check quickly and the font style i wanted to use italic italic here and come back here and refresh and yes you see that that one is uh, as changed now to italics everything has changed to italics very good so the font style you don't put it in quotes note that also the font uh, variant you don't put it in quotes it's more caps without putting in quotes what you have we have been we have put in quotes is the font family that is what we have put inside of quotes all right family okay the next and the last thing i want to show you is what is known as the font weight and the font weight you can use font weight to determine how heavy you like your font to be something like bold for instance if i want this to be bold okay font weight bold refresh well font weight yeah must 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 have something here font weight yeah font weight i want this to be bold all right i must have misspelled some something wrong here either font or weight so it's font weight bold and again this one is not in quotes it is not quoted all right and you can see the whole of this paragraph has changed to bold and by the way you can use a combination of all those things so for instance i can say font weight no more no more is another another way you can use and then i can say something like font family and then i can supply font family and then i can supply something like uh, maybe uh courier here refresh this one has changed i can also supply something like font size if i want to reduce the size to maybe 14 or maybe something like 0 0.8 em remember em refresh so yeah you can combine a number of things and make your font look good so please font the the the, the fonts in uh css are very uh, very important and they come in handy when you are doing your stuff so please make sure that you do uh, you explore this topic um, before we meet for the next class and until then just make sure that you keep busy practicing fonts and i'll see you in the next section